Hi everyone, Anjuta Decide. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can perform browser load testing with K6. So while K6 is renowned for API load testing, but it's also a powerful tool for performing browser testing. So today, in the video, we will explore how we can write our first browser testing script with K6. So first, let's understand why browser load testing matters. By conducting the browser load test, you can identify performance bottlenecks, which are related to the client-side rendering. For example, when you open a browser, there can be chances your API might have responded on time, but your browser is still taking time to respond. That can be because of n number of reasons, like the size of files it is loading can be higher, and the image loading can take time. So these are some of the reasons why it's equally important to perform browser load testing along with your API load testing because it lets you experience your website as your real users would do. So before diving into writing our first browser testing script, make sure you have installed K6. You can check out my previous videos on installing K6. Now ensure you have latest version of K6 in order to access the browser testing feature because it's an experimental module and it's not there in the lower version. So keep checking the documentation and make sure your version is the latest one. Now let's go to our editor and start writing the code for it. So I've already created a empty file. So first you have to import browser from the browser module. For that, you need to write over here, import browser from K6 experimental module. This is required to launch your browser and open the URL. The next thing is we are going to define some test options. For that, we will create an options object over here. So inside the options object, we are going to configure our scenarios in which we will define the browser type, the number of virtual users we are going to call and the executor. I'm going to configure the scenarios. You can give any name for the scenario. I'm going to pass it like browser underscore test. And now inside this scenario name, we are going to pass our executor. So what is executor? So executor basically controls how your K6 schedule virtual users and iterations. Now I'm going to pass the executor, which is a mandatory step for performing browser testing with K6. You need to pass it like this executor. So there are many executors available in K6, but for the demo purpose, I'll be using constant virtual users. Using constant virtual users means a fixed number of virtual users, which will be executed for that specific amount of time. Next thing is we are going to pass some virtual users. For example, I'll be passing as two you can pass it as per your project requirement. Next, I'm going to pass the duration for how long you want your test case to be executed. For example, I'm going to keep it as 30 seconds. Fine. The next mandatory thing which you have to pass is the browser type. For that, you need to define it inside the options object like this, and you need to define it browser type and pass Chromium over here. Make sure you have Chromium browsers installed on your system like Google Chrome. Now we are done with the test options. The final step is writing the test logic. For that, we are going to create a default function over here. So export default function. Now inside it, we are going to write our test logic. So the first step is how to open a new page. For that, we are going to use the new page method from browser module. For that, you have to use it like this, browser.new page. And now in order to access this page, what we will do, we will use page dot go to method to open our URL. So for the demo purpose, let's take the example of google.com, pass it in the single quotes over here, like this, this page dot go to is an async operation for that you need to pass a wait keyword over here like this. And also you need to pass a async keyword along with the function. The next step is you need to pass page dot close so that it will close your page and free up all the allocated resources which are used in the test execution. Now, this is our test script, which will open our browser and will launch google.com and it will be executed for two virtual users and for the duration of 30 seconds. So let's run it. Go to your terminal, enter the command k6 run and your script name, which is browser test.js. So this is the same command we have used in API load testing as well. We are going to use the same command over here. Now let's enter it. And here you will see in the logs, it is actually executing for two virtual users and for 30 second duration. So now we can see our test case got executed and, and in the result summary, you can see the metrics over here. It was different for API request. And here you can see, this is different for browser testing. We can see 
browser HTTP request failure, which is zero percent, and in the end, it is executed for two virtual users and thirty seconds. Right? This is how you can read your result summary and can understand how your test executed and what are the different metrics. So over here, by default, it runs in the headless mode. But in case if you want to see the browser getting launched, for that you need to pass a different command. So what we will do? Let me quickly clear it. For that you need to pass k6 headless as false like this, and the rest of the command would be same, which is k6 run test scripting. So with this, you will actually see your browser getting launched. Let's enter it and see. So you see, actually your browser is getting launched, and it is opening Google.com over here. You see. And it will be executed for thirty seconds, like I mentioned. And now you can see your test case got completed, and in the logs we can see request failure was zero percent, and and the same test option, which is two virtual users and thirty seconds. So this is how you can perform browser testing using K six. Make sure you are passing the browser module because this is the main entry point when you are doing browser testing via K6 because this is what interacts with the actual browser via CDB protocol. So make sure you have you have imported this browser and you're using the correct method. So if you want to experiment more with the executor, you can actually check the documentation and experiment with your test script. So in the upcoming videos, we are going to cover some advanced topic like clicking on any button or performing the actions on a page. Through K6, and we will see and how we can perform load testing using K6 in browser. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. And see you in the next video.